When I said publicly um, in 1991 that the Earth was a living entity that we could communicate with and could communicate with us, uh, people uh, just dubbed me crazy. And now we're seeing scientists um, who have studied this coming to the same conclusion. Yes. Um, the bottom line is this. Everything is conscious. Uh, what we call creation is a, 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 like an ocean of infinite energy, um, which is manifesting itself in different forms. Um, it's like uh, we may perceive ourselves as droplets, if you like, individuals. But if you put a droplet in the ocean, where does the droplet end and the ocean start? The ocean is the droplet, the droplet is the ocean, and it's the same with us. You may look as you do, I may look as I do, that wall may look as, as it does, but they're all expressions of the same energy field uh, manifesting in different ways. So, of course, the, the planet itself is a living, thinking, emotional entity, um, and uh, we are interacting with that energy field. And one of the things the uh, Illuminati ha have set out to do and are trying um, ever more to do in the period we're experiencing now is to bring the vibrational state of the Earth's uh, field, the Earth's consciousness, to um, as low a point as they can. Because we, as human beings, are living in that energy field. And it's very simple. If you affect the sea, you affect that which lives in the sea. And uh, so the more that they can lower the uh, vibrational state of the planet, the more it becomes, if you like, treacle-like density. Mm -hmm. The more it, we, we living in that energy field are pulled into that state. Um, and uh, when you have the uh, wars and the environmental destruction and all these uh, uh, things that, that cause tremendous negative emotional energy, then um, you are um, lowering the vibrational state of the planet, you're lowering the vibrational state of the people. And you're basically holding them in a vibrational prison, which makes it much more difficult, not impossible, but much more difficult for them to hold connection out into the infinite beyond, where they can be in this world, but not of it in terms of their perspective of reality. If you disconnect people um, and hold them in this density, hold them in this illusory reality, they are in this world and they are also of it. And therefore... The only um, information that they uh, have to uh, get a fix on, on how they see life themselves and reality in general is through the eyes and the ears. And who controls that? The Illuminati control that through what we laughingly call the education system, the, the mainstream media across the planet. And <clears throat> the... Um, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to disconnect us from multidimensional infinity so that we don't see the world from that perspective and therefore see through the illusion and see through the nonsense and see through the lies. And then once they've disconnected people, they then program this lower level of our consciousness with a reality that suits them. Um, and this is why uh, people who um, have had a, an, a different perspective on, on life, a different perspective on reality, who have held that connection to some extent out into the, into the infinite and have expressed that uh, view, expressed that vision of reality and possibility here, they're the ones that are dubbed crazy, lunatics and dangerous. Why? Not because they are, but because from the point of consciousness that they are perceiving this world to people who are here, the vast majority, that is just crazy. I mean, if you said to people, um, is, that, is, that, uh, is that table solid? They say, of course it is, of course it is. Well, it isn't, it can't be, it's made of atoms, right? And, the, and atoms are not solid, tell me how it does that. Our minds do that by turning vibrational fields 
into uh, apparently physical objects. The denser the vibration, the slower the vibration, the, the more dense that we um, uh, decode that into what appears to be a physical object. Um, and so uh, someone who's out there and can uh, perceive that sees the world in a completely different way and because it's, it's different to the norm and the, 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 the mass norm which is programmed into people from cradle to grave they're just uh, isolated and, um, and, and called crazy when in fact um, you know they're the, they're the people we need to uh, we need to listen to yeah um, I remember um, Stanley Messenger uh, he, he said to me once that uh, there are no objects there are no things everything that like for example the wooden table everything is an event because once that was a tree and uh, in years to come that will be thrown away into a skip and it will end up decomposing somewhere uh, we don't perceive that as an event because it's happening on a slow scale but uh, there are no things there are only events well <coughs> That table was once a tree, and when it was a tree, it was an illusion. Now it's a different kind of illusion, yeah. and when it's thrown on the scrap heap and, and, uh, and uh, goes back to, to energy as it decomposes, then um, it will still be um, an illusion. And this is, this is for me, if, you, if you're talking about how we're controlled, how the few control the many, uh, if you can suppress the information that people receive in terms of what is possible mm -hmm. you to the same rate suppress their perception of what is possible mm -hmm. okay now once um, you have um, accepted that what is what we're told is possible is, is, is how it is then you're living in a box that big so anyone that starts to talk about things that are beyond mm -hmm. that perception of possibility, you immediately dismiss them as crazy. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. A few centuries ago, um, when people said the Earth was a sphere, they were perceived as crazy and dangerous. And one of the reasons was that uh, if you lived on the bottom of a ball, you would fall off, right? Now... Once you introduce the law of gravity, what appears at first sight to be a nonsensical uh, uh, idea becomes perfectly logical. However, if you suppress at that time knowledge of the law of gravity, then um, people are going to dismiss the truth mm -hmm. because they can't perceive that the truth can be uh, possible. Um, and when you're talking about um, entities that shapeshift, that appear and disappear, UFOs that appear and disappear, if you um, program the population to believe that this world is all there is, that this is a solid uh, uh, world um, of solid individual objects, then the idea of, of things appearing and disappearing or shapeshifting from one state to another, to that sense of perception is totally ludicrous but once you introduce the suppressed knowledge which is that this world is not solid and uh, what what we're living in is basically a, a uh, symbolically a radio station in terms of all the radio and television stations broadcasting to this place now are all um, existing in the space that I'm sitting in I can't see them, they are not aware of each other unless they're really close on the dial. Uh, because, because they're on different frequencies. And if, if I'm on a, uh, uh, or something else is on a different frequency, a seriously different frequency to that wall, then I can walk through it or, 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 or something else can walk through it. Just as if I turn my radio on now, I tune into a radio frequency broadcast that's coming through this wall or this window. Um, and so um, this reality that we think is so solid and all that there is, is actually like a radio station. And this physical body, this holographic uh, illusion, locks us in, tunes us in like a radio to this radio station, to this reality.